Hi, for USCFSales.com, this is Steve Lopez with another Chess Base 11 tip. In the last, I think it's been four videos now, we've been looking at position searches in Chess Base 11. Last time around, last couple of videos, we've been looking at position fragment searches, how to look for partial positions. A couple things yet to show you before we move on to other searches in Chess Base 11. One of them, we were uh, last time around, we were looking at these couple radio buttons, the look for board and the exclude board, but we didn't talk about the or board. I'm going to show you that this time around. What we're going to look for this time is we're going to look for positions that, uh, well, let me set it up. We'll just describe it as we go. We want to look for black fianchettoed kingside positions, fianchettoed bishop positions on the king side. So we start with that. But what I'd like to find are games in which the black king can be on either f8, g8, or h8. Now we could click on a black king in our little box of pieces here and put one on each square. And that's going to turn up exactly nothing because you can only have one black king. There's no way you can have a position with three black kings, one on each of those squares. So how do we tell it we want a black king on any of these three squares? Well, first we get rid of these black kings and then we go to the or board. And what we're going to do is tell it that we need to have a black king on f8 or on g8 or on h8. And we'll start with move 6 and we'll end it at move 40 over here in the first and last parts as we talked about before. We click OK and it searches the database. And it did that pretty quick and you'll notice that if you click on any of these games you do have games primarily with a kingside castle position. Well, let's say we want to just find games in which it's not the standard castle kingside position. Well, we go back to our search mask, and we don't want to reset it. We like everything that's in it now, except for one thing. This is fine in the look for board. We go to the or board. Let's get rid of this king on g8. Now we only want black, bishop, fianchetto, kingside positions in which king is on f8 or h8. That'll eliminate just your standard castled positions. Click OK and we do get some games. And notice that when we click on them what we primarily see is we see that there has been castling but the king has retreated to the corner. But also note that we do get positions like this where the king basically moved one square probably to f8. There's one where, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, black did not castle at all, and the king just moved one square over to f8. So that's how you do that kind of thing. There's one more tweak I want to show you in the search mask. Right click on the database we want to search, click on search, click reset. We're going to get rid of everything. There's a checkbox down here called sacrifice. And what that looks for is any game in which a piece is sacrificed. It does not necessarily have to be an accepted sacrifice. It might be one that was declined, but it is a sacrifice has been offered. I will warn you that this does take a while to do a search. And the reason why is because the software has to look into every game and look at every move. So I have a database of about 12,000 games I'm going to search by clicking OK and we wait and we notice that the games are not popping up with lightning speed and it's because the software takes extra time to do the search. It has to look at all the moves in all these games. I'm looking at a 12,000 game database right now and if you look down at the, if you can see it for the bug down in the lower right corner, we have a progress bar and right now it's showing that it's going to take over an hour to search these 12,000 games. If you do this kind of a search on the mega database or the big database of over 4 million games, start your search and walk away from your computer and come back hours later and it, it'll be you know only partly done. It does take a long time to do these kind of searches. But notice when we click on a game we do get a position where there are sacrifices. For example here we have, hang on a second while I click down here, we have a game where uh, white has just in the next move. By the way, it, it takes you right to the position where the sacrifice is about to occur when you click on a game. Notice that for example here white it offers a sacrifice bishop. 
which Black declines to do. Very unusual for the 1800s, by the way. It was considered very unmanly in those days to decline a sacrifice. I'm going to click the stop button up here because it is going to take a while to continue to do the search, and it is actually messing with my video here a little bit. Um, scroll down a little bit more. We come to different positions here. You have um, uh, Baron Tassilo von Heidebrand unter Lasse playing the white pieces. Uh, his opponent sacrifices bishop, and we see what happens next, and the game goes on. We can go to another uh, another game here where the bishop takes a pawn, sacrificing the bishop. Here we go to another game. Knight comes here, offering to sacrifice itself, but black declines. Does not take with the bishop this time. So there's, there's all kinds of uh, sacrifices in a database. Some of them you might not have found without this little toggle. Here's one where, uh, this was an interesting game. I looked at this earlier. Um, this is one that Underlasa wins in a pretty cool style. Bishop comes here, checking the king. White has two ways to take the bishop. The knight on c2, bishop on c1, and he declines to take it. Instead, he blocks the check. Unfortunately, it doesn't work because the queen now comes here, and that ends the game because the next move, no matter what white does, is going to be queen takes on f2 with checkmate. So that's a pretty cool little sacrifice, a game winner, as a matter of fact, that uh, uh, von Heidebrand under Lasse used to defeat von Bilgar. So you find sacrifices that way. Once again, it's just a little checkbox. We'll go back and show you one more time. Just click search, go to the position tab, and there's a checkbox for sacrifice. Just Put a check in that box, click OK, and it will search that database for sacrifices. Just be aware it does take some time. As I said, this is only a 12,000 game database, and the software was going to take over an hour to go through those 12,000 games. If you uh, do this on the bigger mega database, unless you have a greasy, light, and fast computer, um, it's going to take possibly days to do a search. So you'll want to modify your searches. For example, you might go to the game data tab and put in a particular year. You might go in and search for, oh, let's say sacrifices from the year 1999 and then click OK and it will do the search. I won't find anything in this search because I'm looking at a small database of games from the 1800s. But if I was in the, the master database, I could put in a particular year then go to position tab and do sacrifices and it'll pull up just sacrifices from that particular year. That'll speed the search somewhat. Till next time for USCFSales.com, this is Steve Lopez. Thanks for watching.